Hey gang, Zippo. We got a bunch of people mowing, so you have to talk up a little louder, I guess. Um, I'm going to talk about how to level your decks. I had a video request, and uh, so we're going to go through after I finish picking grass. How you want to uh, get your deck level and also get it set correctly as per the manual. Um, step number one, of course the deck is going to be mounted to your tractor. You want to measure with your blade pointing towards the front, measure from here to the ground. And then measure from here to the ground. The difference, and do the same thing over here on this side. Move the blades straight up and down and measure here, and then measure here to the ground. It should be three eighths of an inch difference from this measurement to this measurement. And these two measurements should be equal. If those two measurements are not equal, I'll show you how to set the deck up so that they are equal. But once again, real quick to recap, blade running forward and back, measure from the bottom of the blade to the ground, and then measure the back of the blade to the ground with it running forward and back. And same thing on the opposite side, bottom of the blade to the ground. The difference, three-eighths of an inch less. So, for example, if this measures two and one-eighth inches, then this would be one and three-quarters inches, three-eighths of an inch difference. So, how do we do it? Well, let's lay the deck down and take a look. Now, I'm going to use a block of wood just to uh, resemble a mounted deck. Okay, on the front side, to get your 3 8 of an inch on either side of difference, you'll pull your cotter pin, pull your clevis pin out, take your turnbuckle, and there is a jam nut on the back. Show you the assembly. You have a jam nut, threaded rod. Well, in this case, on the bale, it's a bolt. Jam nut, turnbuckle, clevis pin, cotter, cotter pin, clevis pin, whatever you want to call it. And then here is where it is attached to your deck on either side. Okay, so now pull both of these. These have to be adjusted equal distances. If they're not adjusted equal dis distances, you're going to have a different measurement left and right. And it works in conjunction with your deck height. So it sort of kind of works in conjunction with your deck height. You have to make sure that your deck height levers are adjusted the same on both sides. Now let me show you over here. You have a slot here and the same slot on the other side. What I do when I'm initially setting up a deck is I will run the deck to where it is adjusted all the way down to the bottom of that slot on both sides. Then I start counting out how many times I turn each of the adjusters. That's to keep the deck level as I raise and lower it. It's important to do that. So use that as a first step and then come back showed you how to point your blades, point your center blade, measure it from the ground to the bottom edge of the blade, and then the back side of both 
left and right blades. After you do that and you get these adjusted correctly to where you have your 3 8 of an inch difference <coughs> in equal distances, <coughs> then you can come back and adjust your deck height after you have raised your deck all the way up. And again, you turn them counterclockwise to lower the deck, clockwise to raise the deck. And I believe on the 3 and 400 series it is uh, very similar to this, uh, which is what the request was for on deck leveling. Um, so if anybody has a 3 and 400 series and it's different, uh, please chime in. And one more really important thing. I need to be sure that Amber and Ethan get out there and help their dad get his deck leveled. That's the most important part of this entire video is making sure that Amber and Ethan get out to help get dad's deck nice and level so that he's cutting good grass. And if you guys haven't watched it already, go see the blade sharpening video that I did recently. So you get nice sharp blades, nicely balanced blades, and be off and run into the races. And for Amber, I like doing pawn shop videos, so you can rest assured there's going to be plenty more pawn shop videos to come. When I make a pawn shop find, I always like to share them. So hang, up, hang tight for those. And this is Zippo. That's it. There's a quick little how-to on leveling a deck. I'll let you all later. I'm out.